Well, my name is Jose Luis Llorens and I'm going to explain to you how to encode audio files into MP3 files. Well, since the breakdown of the MP3 files, we have the chance to record up to 500 songs in a CD. Um, many more if you instead of a CD use uh, mp3 player or mp4 player and recorder uh, depending of the capacity of them um, first of all to encode all your files you you should have a computer with a blu-ray dvd or cd player and recorder so that you can convert you can you can encode those files those audio files into mp3 files without downloading the files uh, onto the computer directly from the cd blu-ray or dvd player um, of course the most important thing is to have a very good software capable to encode and to convert audio files into mp3 or mp3 pro files well i'm using since uh, seven years ago more or less uh, i've been using um, the nero n e r o software which is a software uh, which plays and records and converts audio and video files. To start encoding the files, you should open the, the software. In my case, in my case, um, you should open the Nero software sorry this is my software and uh, mm, I have to select between the options that Nero offers me I have to find and select the right and correct option which is encode audio files you should click and then we have a new open window in this new window you should first of all set up the source of the file that uh, to be encoded and you should do that by clicking on the add button and after that you should set up the the path to get to the folder where your file is stored for example in my case i have the file stored in the folder meth class cubase and after setting up this i have the file to be encoded which is called paseando por la toscana which is a song a song of mine an instrumental song of mine dedicated to the region of uh, italy called la toscana and uh, the my audio file is in a wav format audio file format and what you should do is to make sure that the your 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 audio file format is supported um, by the software and so i prefer i prefer uh, to to set up the old formats option because um 
surely your 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 audio file format is included in it and then the next step is to press the button called open and here you have your file your audio file imported into the uh, encode files window the next step is to um to configure the settings of the output file format and um, um, as for example um, the 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 the, um, the encoding quality the bit rate and the recording format resolution and you should do that by pressing the um, the settings button to configure all those settings for example referring to the encoding quality you have three options fast medium and highest I've, i prefer to use the highest um, encoding quality because you, you it will produce um, a file slightly big in size but respecting all the sound quality of the original um, audio file and then I, you should uh, to set up the const the constant bit rate and the bit rate I mean sorry and um, I prefer a bit rate for example of uh, 194 a uh, 92 sorry kilobits sorry I'm in using mp3 pro professional but I usually I prefer to use the the mp3 normal mp3 um, encode um, software and uh, or, or settings is better said and I think um, one hand a resolution or a, a bit rate or sorry a bit rate of 100 and 92 kilobits with uh, recording format resolution of 44 thousand and one hundred earth in a stereo mode to me is a very good settings are a very very good settings sorry to as i have said before to produce a file format um a, a file mp3 file uh, which uh, not too big size but respecting the quality sound of the original audio file then, well the last step to get your encoded audio file ready is to establish to set up the path to get to the place on your hard drive disk that you where, where you you want to to have your your new file saved or stored and you should do that by clicking on the browse on the browse button um, and in my case i have a folder called Jose Luis, which is in my documents, and you should, after that, 
to change or, or to preserve the name of the audio file and finally you have to press the save or the store button and after that in the previous window on the previous window sorry you should click on the go button and in a few minutes minutes or even seconds you will have your file ready to be played and of course ready to be sent by email as an attached file to your friend and that's all enjoy encoding your files your audio files